Our next guest, the son of a World War I veteran, also wanted to serve his country. Little did he know it would be a life-changing decision. And joining us now to talk about his incredible journey and what he did for the world and for freedom is Merchant Marine Captain Hugh Stevens. Captain Stevens, so great to have you with us. I want you to know it was such an honor to meet you at the Norwegian consulate this week. You are 99 years old and you are the sharpest and most dapper 99 year old I know. It's great to have you here. We're going for 100. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think you're going to go well beyond that. Talk about um, what inspired you uh, to get into the service and what was it about your father's history uh, and your family's history that inspired you to serve? Well, of course, uh, the draft was a great incentive. I didn't especially want to go in the Army. And um, the Merchant Marine, of course, was a commercial service. It, um, gave us a lot more freedom to change ships and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, I grew up with the thought that uh, when the time comes, you serve your country. Just as my father did, my late son did, and I did. Absolutely. Now tell us about your time in the Merchant Marines, what that was like, um, and some harrowing times, especially um, when you were there, and I think about when you were in the Arctic Ocean, um, that you and your crew um, were there on the way back, you stopped to rescue Norwegian women and children, these refugees, and they were at the German-occupied island of Saroy, which is sort of the northern part there of Norway. Talk about just how harrowing that journey was. Well, actually, what happened, the British uh, intelligence received word that the Germans were going to annihilate all the remaining people on Solroy Island. So they got four destroyers in there, picked them up, and quickly rushed them over to Murmansk, Russia, where our homeward-bound convoy was preparing to leave. Put about uh, 30 of them on uh, each of our ships and, and started off and got into the worst weather. The uh, the uh, Northern convoys had ever seen. We had 100 foot seas, 125 mile an hour winds. Pretty hard to imagine. But and, we, and also, the Henry S. Bacon was also uh, obviously torpedoed, too. It was very treacherous. She unfortunately was off in the after corner, back corner of the convoy. And her steering gear broke down. She drifted out of the convoy. 23 German. JU-88s attacked her. They shot five of them down, but one of them got a torpedo in her, and ultimately she sank with half of her crew because they gave up their seats in the lifeboat to the Norwegian refugees who were saved. Wow. You know, um, Captain Stevens, recently, as I mentioned, I saw you there at the Norwegian consulate just a few days ago here in New York to celebrate your efforts in that rescue. Um, and you were awarded the Norwegian government's commemorative medal of World War II. Um, we also presented you with a throw. It's a blanket from the Joey Lowenstein Foundation. And the throw has a big V on it, uh, which Joey Lowenstein designed. It means victorious victory. Um, what did it mean for you to be honored by the country of Norway this week? I'm very proud that I'm of Norwegian descent too as well, but it made me very proud. And it was also such a great reminder of not just what you and so many heroic merchant mariners did for America, but what you did for the world. Well, it was a humbling and, and honoring experience all in one. After all, I was just a sailor. I was just doing the steering. And uh, actually, it was our our Norwegian American captain uh, Brian Hope that was the hero to me. Uh, he kept us in the convoy and uh, struggling to get everybody uh, there in time. Well, I cannot say enough about your incredible service. Uh, and what you did to save those refugees in their most dire need and what the Merchant Mariners do all the time. It is such an honor to have you here on the show, sir, and thank you. It's wonderful for all of us to meet you and share this important part of history. Thank you so much, Captain Stevens. You're welcome and have a good day.